This is my son Oliver. He's paralysed from the chest down, and barring a medical miracle, he will never walk. This series is my journey to find out what the future holds for my son. It's a journey that will take me all over the world, and I'll meet some extraordinary people. Han De Hyung is the Korean wheelchair basketball head coach. In Malaysia, however, people in wheelchairs are seen quite differently. Because it's a laughing stock to the people, you know? Oh, really? Yeah. It was really dark and I sat myself up on the back of um, the wall and next thing I knew, I woke up 30 foot on the other side of the wall. I said, oh, can you please, can you just give my mum a call? Because mum fixes everything. And, and she's like, oh no, I think I'll call the ambulance first. And the doctors held my hand and he's like, Tina, um, you know that you've done some serious damage today. And I said, oh, I really think I probably have. And he goes, I'm really sorry to tell you, but you'll never walk again. Tina's back at uni, studying to be a kindergarten teacher. She wants to win a medal at the Wheelchair Basketball Championships in Birmingham. And she's also the Australian captain. Ollie's in grade two at St Michael's Grammar, where he loves his friends, his sport, and his music. Today, he's brought Tina in to chat to his classmates about what it takes to succeed, no matter what challenges you face. I seem to have a string of people coming up telling me you won't be able to do this, you won't be able to do that. Meet Mike. Six months ago, he was bedridden and fading fast with septicemia. I think I'm stuck here to, here to, here to you to tell me what I can do and can't do. No one's going to come up to you and knock on your door and go, I want you to have this fantastic life, blah, blah. You've got to make it happen. I think I can't do stuff. Well, hang on and watch. Mike was a motorcycle speedway rider until his accident 40 years ago. He worked as a counsellor, got his pilot's licence and later travelled the world as a wheelchair marathon racer. He's also a dive master and teacher and today's his first day back in the water. You guys going to sit here talking all day or are you going to come diving? Isn't that funny, getting the ocean free? Mike's dream has always been to go to Egypt and dive the Red Sea. It's just being asked if you need a hand. How do you go to the toilet? I've been like this for a lot of years and I really don't need a hand, I'm, I'm all right. I stand up at the, the urinal or something like that, you know. Every every year or so I get new legs and I have to, it's they like- They should do. Yeah, it's, <laughs> and I have to, I just, I just, <laughs> I just say that naturally because it just, you know. Um, I would love to, um, I would love to get to the London Paralympic Games in 2012. That would be fantastic, but what, what I really want to do is um, I really have a passion for singing and acting mm -hmm. and I just love getting up on the stage and being from the camera. His next challenge is to land himself an audition for one of Australia's top soaps. Guys, where's Jesse? Adam wants to be the first mainstream wheelchair actor. <laughs> look at people in wheelchairs in a totally different way. Yeah. Because they don't know anyone in wheelchairs. They don't meet people in wheelchairs like this. Sean, do you do you like your life? Yeah. Yeah. I reckon. It's great. Bloody cool you guys. Smithy, how you feeling? I'm alright mate. Very heavy steering this bloody thing, so it doesn't look you. easy at all. I think if you've uh being someone that's always enjoyed the bush and you end up in a chair then you kind of think that's probably all over for you so to be able to access these things and get out and have some fun and back to nature. These guys are all quadriplegic. They accelerate with their fingers and brake with their palms while steering with their other hand. You know that footage you always see in the rally driving yeah. where someone's got the camera on and they go, holy fuck, here we go, ah! We don't want that. It's pretty hairy stuff, and even with a support crew, things can go wrong. You right, dude?
<laughs> it keeps kicking left on me, the fucker. <laughs> I went for the soft stuff anyway. <laughs> I didn't expect it to roll. <laughs> I didn't hurt anything. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing broken. <laughs> <laughs>